Hey everyone, what is going on? So we do have uh, the Mega Beedrill competition, and unfortunately it's a complexity competition. I didn't even realize that prior to beginning um, the stage, so... When I saw it was a complexity one, I decided to use a jewel. Uh, you could, uh, use a jewel or you don't have to, uh, as we get, you know, a bunch of matches of Mega, uh, Toronto, uh, excuse me, Mega Toronto, which is nice, I guess. But, um, I would have preferred, like, several rows of, like, Savali to hopefully get the typeless combo off. But, you know, we do have all these matches. I didn't even know where to click. I didn't even click on anything. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, again, don't have the stylus, just using my finger. So, uh, going to be a little bit annoying on my end, but I was trying to stay focused. And I think I did pretty well, so I'm actually really satisfied with my final result. Um, it is a three Pokemon competition, so... Uh, yeah, since if you use the complexity, is it is a three Pokemon competition. So you you you're gonna get the combos. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, you could go with Mega Camelot if if you wanted to. It was recently available. Uh, personally, I prefer Tyranitar because, as I just said, it is a three Pokemon competition, and it also disrupts with a bunch of blocks. So I feel like the extra tap is more important than the super effective aspect. But uh, if you disagree or if you don't have Tyranitar, Camelot is definitely a good way to go. Um, yeah, or if you don't have that one either, you have Shiny Mega Charizard X, you could do that as well. Uh, basically, a tap is what I'm trying to say is would be the best way to go, uh, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess you could try Mega Rayquaza, but I don't think it's, you're going to have good results just because of all the blocks you know if it didn't disrupt with blocks if it was like rocks instead then i would say mega Rayquaza would be really good but uh definitely go ahead with that tyranitar uh if you have it or cam up that's basically uh what i would do and uh what i did because i did go with uh yeah I did go with Mega Tyranitar. Now I have Silvalli for Typeless Combo. You guys know that Deoxys attack with Typeless Combo or Tapu Lele would be better because they are super effective against uh, Mega Beedrill, but I don't have them. The only maxed out Typeless Combo user I have is, um, is Silvalli and hopefully soon Zygarde, but I wouldn't have brought uh, Zygarde anyway. I would have still had uh, Silvalli. <laughs> but yeah, Mewtwo is there just because Cyburst does a lot of damage when it activates. However, I really wasn't going for it when I had the Silvalli into uh, Tyranitar. I was just going for Silvalli just because of the huge combos. But um, yeah, yeah, that's basically what I was doing. But Mewtwo is still obviously a really good option and a really good uh, Pokemon. So one that you uh, also want to... Uh, uh, Bring if you haven't fully invested from the level max challenge, uh, all, the, all that time ago, I was several, several months ago, <laughs> that level max challenge. Unfortunately, we're not going to get any more, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, quite an interesting competition. Uh, I did enjoy this one despite the complexity. Uh, yeah, the, the complexity is annoying, but, you know, it, it is, it was a fun competition for me. Uh, RNG dependent for the most part. Uh, you could get really bad RNG and get, like a hundred thousand, uh, which, or you can get really good RNG and get over a million. You know, I could see people going over a million. We didn't quite get there, but, uh, I could definitely, uh, see it happening. Uh, but as you saw combo after combo after combo with this team, uh, it just keeps on going on and on and on. You know, when you think you're done, more Tyranitas fall down and you just tap in the screen. Uh, it was kind of hard to get the three taps in just because, as I said, I was using my finger. I wasn't using a stylus. So a little bit annoying and a little bit difficult. So I had to stay focused more than an anything else uh, because of that. Uh, but yeah, I don't really know what else to say. It does uh, Beedrill or Mega Beedrill does disrupt with your team, so it can disrupt with, for me, obviously, Silvelli, Mewtwo, or uh, T Mega Tyranitar, but uh, yeah, so I I personally don't think this was a bad competition outside the fact that it's expensive, but if you don't have some of these, if you don't have like a Tapper or a good, a good Tapper, this could definitely be a tough one because of the block, so I can't stress that enough, guys. Uh, a Tapper is the way to go. Hopefully you have one. Hopefully you can... um handle this stage you should be able to handle this stage well all you really care about is the mega stone right i mean that's the most important thing uh so definitely um do a full item attempt if you can if you have some extra jewels uh from like check-in or something you could use a jewel to go ahead and do the full item attempt because you do want to get in the ranking for that mega stone it is a really good uh, Mega, you guys know that. How many times have I used Mega Beedrill? I've used it in survival mode so many times. You definitely want Mega Beedrill. Um, 
yeah, I can't, I can't stop saying that you, you need Mega Beedrill, you need, need the Mega Stone. So if you don't have it, uh, definitely go for this, uh, Mega Stone. Especially if you didn't get, like, Pinsa or some of the other, uh, tappers. Uh, Beedrill does make it evolve in one turn if it's fully sped up. Now, if yours is not fully sped up, um, uh, or if you don't have the resources to fully speed it up, you, you, you're probably gonna find Mega Beedrill underwhelming. Uh, but, you know, at some point in the future, you will have the 12 mega speedups to invest in it. So it's totally worth it. Totally go after it. I def definitely, definitely, definitely want to do it. And yeah, this is a competition. This is similar to Mega uh, Pinsa where you do not want to miss it. Uh, yeah, be sure to post your scores down below. You guys know I always love hearing how you did. Uh, let me know what you thought of the competition. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you didn't like it. I'm sure a lot of people probably won't like it, even if they did well, just because of the... How, just because of how expensive it was, uh, I'm, I'm partially feeling that way, but, you know, after I saw how well I did, or at least how well I think I did, I'm actually okay with it now, but normally I don't like, uh, complexity competitions, uh, for obvious reasons, right? So, uh, yeah. But really, a really, really, really interesting competition. So, Hopefully you guys did well, and hopefully you can get that Mega Stone if you don't have it. I know some of you were posting on my other videos that you don't have Mega Beedrill yet, and you can't wait to do the, the competition, or you did the competition, and it's definitely good enough for the stone, and that's awesome. Congratulations. So happy to hear about it. I'm not sure what the cutoff is going to be for the stone. It's going to be higher than usual, just because uh, it is a complexity competition. So, um, yeah, so, you know, so, yeah, so... We're almost done, and we're on the last move. Gonna make a Cervelli, activating one last us uh, uh, typeless combo move, and yeah, almost over. We're not gonna get a super high combo in this last turn. It was decent, I guess, but yeah. So well, actually, I guess it was pretty good. Uh, we got uh, the Tyranitar match, so almost over. This was like a long competition. Uh, this uh, I think it's like seven, eight minutes, something like that. So uh, quite lengthy for this uh, this Pokemon. By the way, I will have a couple more shuffle videos out, a couple discussion videos. There's uh, a couple things I want to talk about. One next week's videos, and then I have something else uh, that I want to discuss with you guys related to shuffle. But anyway. We got over 720,000, so we're currently in ninth place, so I'm really, really happy about that. Uh, that should be good enough for Tier 1, and yeah, I'll see you in tomorrow's videos, guys. Have a good day. Bye.